It's a huge it, task. It is a huge ahead. task. And I know the Greens want the government to be more ambitious, mm. but is it time to at least uh, take what you can get and, and let that bill through? No. We, the, the, the bill that is, is there on the table leaves, doesn't even keep up with the growth in people who are looking for housing. So it, is, it cannot solve the problem. We need to grow supply, but we also, most importantly, have to deal with renters. You know, one in three Australians are renting. They are really struggling There's to find... There's an increase in the rental assistance it's very, announced it's today. It's very, very small. It's $1.18 a day um, for, for people who are facing... I mean, it's a, a tiny increase. And we know people can't find rental properties and they can't afford it. When, you know, the price of rental has gone up so much. So we're very unhappy with that bill. We feel like the government has the capability to do much more. And I know as an economist, it's about growing the supply and that bill will not do it fast enough to keep up with even, what's projected. Even with the Jackie Lambie's amendments? Where well, there's Jackie's going to be Lambie create... A minimum Jackie's amount. Jackie's amendments create a minimum, but it was inadequate for my state and it's inadequate for many parts yeah, of the country. Yeah, but the thing is, if you don't start building these houses now, you're going to have more people out there. You need to start doing something now. You have the biggest balance of power in that bloody Senate up there. That's what you have, and you can't keep doing deals with more housing. You've got to be kidding me. You have to start today. Those people need roofs over their head today. And we need to make sure we get the rental. Oh, you can do that with your balance of power. You keep pushing that. We You've got that big balance of power. That. You've got Don't more than what Tammy and I have, I can tell you. And you're not using that. Well, I think we're using it very effectively. Oh, well, you want to government. stop people from having a roof over their head. That is disgusting. Is it, isn't, uh, well, David Pocock, some move is better than nothing? That's your view, isn't it? Well, I think the thing that we're, we're hearing is, is we're facing some enormous challenges as a society. Everything from climate and the environment, people know things are getting bad, to housing, to cost of living. And I think people were looking to the government for a big plan, a longer term plan, but we've really seen sort of pretty safe budget, not a lot of tough decisions. I think particularly around revenue, they've really just kicked the can down the road. You know, the, the changes to the, the petroleum resource rent tax, it's just tinkering at the edges. To date, the PRT hasn't seen a cent from offshore gas um, projects. The way that they've changed it, it's simply going to bring forward some of those um, yeah. projected um, sort of flows of money and create some sort of really base royalty. It's not the sort of reform that we need when we've got a budget that has been in structural deficit for so long and we're just so reliant on personal income tax as a country. Like, that, that needs to change and it's going to take some really tough conversations for government. Well, with that personal income tax, the stage three tax cuts, Malcolm Roberts, they don't get a mention in the budget. The Treasurer says it's old news that the decision's an old one, it's done, government hasn't changed its position. Do you see that as the government you know, reinforcing their support for it. Well, I'd like to build on what David said, because what we're seeing is some fundamental contradictions here. They're just tinkering at the edges, but the, the, the fundamental contradictions are that the Reserve Bank of Australia wants to increase interest rates to send people broke so they stop spending money. Jim Chalmers, on the meantime, brings in uh, 400,000 immigrants in one year, which would drive up the price of housing, increasing the cost of living pressures, and also splashing cash around, which will drive up inflation. He's madly stuffing cash back into people's pockets. And we're seeing the fundamental contradictions. We need to understand the basics of what's happening in this, in this uh, budget. 